the entire team of young scientists welcomes you to this demonstration. We are a small company with big ambitions. We are a leader in visual learning and our aim and goal is to rekindle imagination and reinvent curiosity. All journeys start with a single step and ours began nearly five years ago in a coastal city called Chennai in Southern India. Our goal was to construct a stress-free, engaging and exciting scientific ecosystem to nurture the young minds and to show them how science can be fun. We are a team of science lovers. We come from different backgrounds. Amongst our ranks, we have physicists, chemists, programmers with years of experience. We have school teachers, professors, researchers consulting us. We are all joined by a single goal to share our passion for learning. To put it simply, we are science communicators. We enjoy learning and we want to share our pleasure with as many people as possible. Our focus from the beginning has always been on the young minds. The formative years of a child cannot be underestimated. It is quite important and we wanted to provide a diverse set of activities, engagements that can bring out the best in them. Our approach to science education is based on hands-on learning, learning through doing, learning from experience, learning through experiments, we employ visual learning tools in all our sessions, be it face-to-face -face sessions or like in the recent times through online learning. Our journey started with a single science club in a community. We extended that to the city through workshops. We started conducting science shows to gain popularity. And as we gained trust from the community, we started running science camps. We have consulted with schools. We have established science clubs in some of the finest schools in Chennai too. The past couple of years, we have been conducting several workshops at the research park of IIT Madras. We went through a selection process and were given the privilege of conducting workshops there to which we have received a good response from schools and the general public. Even parents who conduct homeschooling, they come to us and seek our workshops as an alternative to conventional learning. Our workshops cover certain themes in science, physics, chemistry, biology. We simplify the concepts. We demonstrate them right in front of the children so that they can see what they can read. We encourage activities, experiments, so that Learning can become fun. When children begin to enjoy learning, the boundary between experiment and playtime dissolves. Learning becomes a way of life. It becomes a way to enjoyment. We challenge our students, we push their boundaries. We encourage them to do things that they normally won't do. We're not always contained by 
the curriculum, the syllabus, and it's quite humbling to see children rise up to the challenge and take on topics which normally wouldn't be considered appropriate for their age. They build electronic projects, circuits. They build extension boxes on their own. The human potential is truly exceptional. Sometimes we need to give a good show. We need to demonstrate how fun science can be. The enthusiasm has to become infectious. That's the motive behind our science shows. And when learning becomes fun, even a party can turn into a classroom. And even the children would laugh with glee and enjoy while they experience things that even their science labs would not be able to provide. We use dry ice, liquid nitrogen, chemical magic, plasma balls, and even ordinary household items and turn them into tools for learning. We have also worked with companies in the past, helping them provide a science experience at their corporate events. These could be science shows, activity tables, workshops, experiment kits, and much more. We also have attempted to offer workshops on special topics that are relevant and on the cutting edge of technologies. We introduce the basics, the foundations of artificial intelligence to children. We design simple activities, logic games to motivate them, to get them thinking as to how the world could become as our lives merge with technology. An integral part of our philosophy as mentioned before, is the hands-on training. And one of the cultures we want to encourage is that of do it yourself. Many of our workshops have the DIY prefix where we provide the children the materials and the guidance to build something and test it. And even if they make a mistake, we turn that into a positive thing, a learning experience. We also talk about the ethics of science. We also teach caution. We teach them safety. We teach them about human rights. We teach them to be respectful of each other. We provide a stress-free learning experience. Our workshops cover several themes from physics, chemistry, biology, special topics, fun activities like stargazing. We also have a series of workshops specially designed for very young children the Budding Scientist series. And we encourage the parents to join us and to learn science with them. A learning can be a bonding experience. Recently, when we were faced with the challenge of conducting live events, we had to adapt. And we had to adopt our principles and philosophy to the demands of the time. We had to move to a virtual mode and provide online workshops, courses, which we conduct over Zoom, coordinate through Google Classrooms. We made sure not to lose our way. We wanted to make our sessions interactive. 
from the hundreds of hours of experience that we gained from live events and sessions and workshops, we quickly garnered experience in conducting online sessions. Right now, we have two courses running even as we speak. One on Android app development, where the children use MIT App Inventor to create applications for mobile phones. They can create games, they can create voice to text converters, translators, and some of them have even succeeded in publishing them on Google Play Store. We have several of their projects featured on our YouTube channel. Many of our children have a fascination for astrophysics, for astronomy. We have a dedicated course for it. And owing to the interest in such courses, we are considering expanding them, offering many of those, and perhaps even offer a diploma program. I should talk about how we make the online sessions engaging. I'm sure you are eager to know what it is that we provide that's beyond just the visual and the auditory. How do we make a computer screen engaging by making it interactive? Learning cannot be passive. It has to be an active process. So we integrate simulations in our sessions. That way, we take the science lab to the screen. You can change parameters. You can test them. You can fail. You can learn from them. And all it takes is a few clicks of the mouse, a few taps on the keyboard. Many of the simulations are browser-based. All you need is to open a website. But for courses like astrophysics, we take the extra mile forward. We use packages like Space Engine, which is a simulator of the entire universe. And with this capacity, the children can travel anywhere, not only in the known universe, but in procedurally developed spaces too. We use whiteboards during the sessions so that we need not shy away from mathematics or problem solving. The children can see the organic development of thought as we move from the problem to the solution. We interact with them using chat. And when appropriate, we allow them to speak and raise questions. We provide them with worksheets, since not all activities can be done on the screen. These worksheets can be printed, and they offer chances for a physical activity, even if it's in a small way, that reinforces what they learn theoretically. To summarize, is a great act to ensure that we do not forget. So we provide infographics that capture the key ideas of our sessions and workshops. In addition to all that, whenever possible, we include quizzes either during the session or after the session. We provide videos we play videos. We suggest further reading material. The goal is clear. What we want to do is what we have always wanted to do, to provide confidence and the tools and the motivation for the children so that they can go beyond the session and explore on their own. Learning should never be frightening. Since this unique circumstance 
of relying on online learning resources. It's a global phenomenon. We wanted to extend our expertise to as many people as possible. That's why recently we started building the YS Knowledge Base, which is a curated collection of various resources that can help children of different ages to seek engaging tools to learn new things. These are simulations, YouTube channels, quizzes, fascinating articles, and so on. This is a work in progress, and with time, it's only going to grow. And recently, we have started accepting suggestions from our community so that we can expand this database. We have a community outreach that's as active as our community. We have a YouTube channel, a Facebook page, an Instagram account, and our beloved website, which is the face of the organization. Recently, we did a series of workshops on space missions, where we discussed from the beginning of the space age to the future of humans in space. We discussed the um, extraordinary story of putting the first men on the moon. And we asked questions as to what it would take to build a human colony in Mars. And, and when, was, when all was done and said, we scheduled a live stream where one of the students was the host and we chose some of the best questions from the sessions and we had a discussion. We are committed to provide quality learning experience to our children. Whether we are fortunate to have live sessions or whether we are constrained to only reach out to them through virtual means. We're actively seeking new platforms and tools and methods. We seek feedback from our students and parents and try to improve ourselves every day. 